Hey guys, I have been sort of uh, threatening or talking or pretending or thinking about uh, doing a Facebook Live for a while. So I, of course, got inspired to do it while I'm out here um, at this Nature Conservancy, like about 10 minutes from my house. Um, and so here we are. And I figure if I don't do it now, I won't ever do it. So here we are. Um, and the thing that's been... I, I, I know I was, I asked you guys what, if there were topics that you wanted me to write about or talk about or say or share. And, um, and I, you know, I'm going to be doing more of these, I think, because, um, I think they have an impact. Uh, yeah. So anyway, what are the things that, what I wanted to talk to you about today is, um, it, it's sort of, um, Lisa, Lisa Leak asked about this earlier, um, about, calming your inner critic and that that's what I've been sort of had in my brain anyway um so the other day Lily and I watched rewatched A Wrinkle in Time and I saw the movie when it came out originally um I think it was like 2018 or something um I saw it twice in the theater and when I saw it I when I saw it in the theater both times both times I was so uh, inspired and so excited and so Oh, just like, yes, because, because they, the, the words that they used in the cinematography and this, and the concept was so powerful. And I, you know, I read this book, I read this book when I was a kid, I read this book when I was probably nine years old. And it was one of those books that was at, even at nine, that was life changing. It was so powerful. And it was such a, 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 a it was like, I knew at that moment that I chose I chose to be a warrior for the light. At one point in the movie, Oprah Winfrey says to 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 um, the the girl playing Meg, she says, "We need warriors of the light." And I remember that. I remember that line. I remember that line in the book when I was nine. I remember uh, reading it and feeling like, "Yeah, that's that." It was like that moment of like sort of resonance. And so to so I watched it in 2018, and it was, it, you know, the the words. The, the quotes there was at one point Oprah Oprah says to Oprah says to the little girl she says imagine how many billions of things had to happen since the start of the universe to get to create you and it's so powerful to think about that it's so amazing to think about all of the things all of the coincidences and synchronicities and all of the pieces that had to get together that the same God that created mountains and, and rainbows and, and, and beautiful nature decided we needed, we needed a you, we, we needed a Robin, we needed a, a, we needed a Lisa, we needed a Patty, we needed a Francie. Like it, it, the, the same God created us and decided, yeah, we need one of those. And, and so in that moment in the movie, she's trying to give Meg confidence to trust her own instincts and, 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 and follow her heart and to believe that she can do this. Meg says, but why me? And, and Oprah says, because you're you, because we need you. And I, it's so, it's, it's, that's what I teach. That's what I do. That's what I, that's the, that's what I bring to the world is I, I'm teaching people to be warriors for the light. That whole, the whole concept of the it and the it is the darkness and the darkness is like anytime you feel betrayed or hurt or wronged or fear or jealousy or any of that stuff, that's how the it gets in. That's how the darkness takes over. And yet beautifully spoken Mindy Kaling as Mrs. What's it says the 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 wound is where the light comes in which is one of my favorite quotes and it's by Rumi and it's it's like our wounds our wounds are exactly we wound we were wounded exactly the way we needed to be to let the light in and the more light we have the more we can raise the vibrations on the planet so i so i watched it with lily and i the other night and i and one and, and lily said to me mama is there really darkness and i was and i was having this conversation with my eight-year-old to say well yeah there kind of is there is really darkness i said but our job our job is to be warriors of the light and she said mama am I a warrior of the light? And I said, baby, you are the light. You, you are the thing that reminds me every single day to, to be 
a warrior for the light. And she smiled and she laughed and she said, Mama, I like that. And I said, me too. And we, and we talked about, we talked about the movie and we talked about that scene in the movie where, where they're showing how the dark, the fear and the anger and the jealousy and the rage, all are the things that let the light in. Um, and, and so, so it was, it was, it was just an, it was a very interesting, really cool moment to be able to share that with Lily. Heidi, it was absolutely my favorite book in the world too. Like it truly was helped me understand how it were, how things work, how the universe works. There's a series. There was a wrinkle in time, uh, a wind in the doorway, and a swiftly tilting planet. And they gave me understanding of how the world works. How how there I still use language from those books. Uh, you know, fighting the it. And it's not about fighting against the it. It's about letting, it's about, there's a scene at the very end of the movie, the very end of the movie where Mrs. Mrs. Witch, Mrs. What's it? I can't remember the whatever. Reese Witherspoon's character um, gives Meg, a, as a gift, she gives her the gift of her faults. And, I, it, and, and Meg says, you do know those are the bad parts of me, don't you? And she says, are they really? And, and so they go in she goes into battle the it and she and she stands up to the it and she says i'm worthy of love she says yes i'm messy and i'm uncoordinated and most days i don't even like myself very much but but i am worthy of love and you love me and i and she's talking to her brother and i love you and that's why and that's why you brought me along is because i'm worthy of love and she stands up and she and she oh boy I didn't expect to get emotional, but she stands up and she, she claims her own power. She stands in her own power and she says, I'm worthy of love. She embraces all of herself. And, and so Lisa asked me today, do I, do I, what do I do about shutting off the inner critic? I literally teach classes on this. Like I have a six week happiness intensive that starts again in January, specifically around embracing and owning and cherishing the parts of you that you reject, that you say aren't good, that you say are, are um, bad or wrong, or the parts of you that are unconscious. I, we spend six weeks in that. And then I work with people one-on-one -on -one and I do in group coaching specifically on standing up in your power and letting your, the it and fighting the it and letting the light shine in. So, that's really what I wanted to, to come on and share today is, 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 is to say to you that the wounds are where the light comes in and I give you the gifts of your faults. Thank you for being with me this morning, this afternoon. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more of these and I probably will have more of an agenda. Have a wonderful afternoon.